generational training was about getting a group of youth and adults collaborating and finding a, a shared a shared space and a shared voice on the concept of race and its intersectionality with various identities, be it class, gender, nationality, physicality, religion, belief, you name it, sexuality, uh, style. And race intersects with all of those identities. And oftentimes when we talk about uh, race, we fragment it away from, well, okay, well, let's talk about race, but let's talk about gender over here. And, or let's talk about sexuality, or let's talk about belief, and it's like, well, all of these things intersect because humanity has been segmented into these socially constructed racial groups, and each one of those racial groups deals with that full spectrum of identity. We are oftentimes avoiding the disparities that have been created around the historical trauma related to race. And I often ask, times ask people, if you're a good person, prove it by confronting these issues, confronting these disparities. And so this, the goal was to have a space where youth and adults are swapping ideas, talking about these concepts in a way where we've kind of shed the identity of teacher-student, but really collaborators and creating safe spaces to even say terms that may be considered politically incorrect, to explore ideas, to make mistakes so that we can just really learn from each other. And that's what real learning spaces are. The goal of these teams would also be so-called interracial, uh, and they would be scholars and adults from various backgrounds, in which we did have various identities in regards to the spectrum of class, sexuality, nationality, you name it. And we went through, I think it was three days? Three days? Yeah, three, four days. Uh, did a lot of piece on the concept of dialogue versus debate, because uh, we have debate teams in schools, we have professional uh, debate, the presidential debate. It's like the Super Bowl now, right? Uh, and oftentimes when people say, let's have a dialogue, what they're really saying is, let's have a polite debate. <laughs> and so true dialogue, I say, is a paradigm shift, and that's not 20 cents, away from debating. So the concept of debating is really about, let me listen to flaws and weaknesses in what you're saying, and I'm gonna exploit those flaws and weaknesses, and I wanna counter. I may do that in an aggressive way, I may do that in a passive aggressive way. Whereas true dialogue is about practicing purity of motive and being transparent about what's going on in the back of our mind. Really wanting to understand and build. We may not agree, we may disagree on A, B, and C, but on double Y, we find a point of collaboration. So it's about using those same analytical skills to find points of cooperation and building together. And so how do we create spaces where people can dialogue around these issues? and really explore possibilities. That doesn't always mean solutions, but possibilities, and start working on those possibilities. And then their goal was to start holding dialogues, hosting various experiences, looking at curriculum, um, because if we're just doing this outside of the classroom as an extracurricular event, it's just that it's extracurricular. Mm -hmm. It's not impacting the day-to-day -day culture of the school. And I personally believe that like, everybody at this table has a perspective on reality, right? And somewhere between all of those perspectives is the truth. Institutions are meant to be spaces where we can explore those multiple perspectives, and those multiple perspectives can even clash. And out of that clash, a spark of truth we can discover. If institutions are only promulgating one perspective, that is not learning, that is indoctrination. And historically, our institutions have been set up as indoctrination. So what we're in the process of is transformation out of the industrial model of education to create spaces to prepare all scholars, no matter what their race, color, background is, to be successful members of a global society. And this team is charged with being the machete to cut through the forest and create paths for others to follow in their 